Happening right now at 4 o'clock, several North Texas school districts investigating some kind of school threats today. Thank you for joining us at 4. I'm Doug Dunbar. In for Ken Molestina. And I'm Gilma Avalos. At one point today, three middle schools, Cross Timbers, Colleyville, Grapevine, and an elementary school, Glen Hope, were put on a lockout after they received threatening calls. The district says the calls came from the same source who threatened Cross Timbers Middle School earlier this week. Midlothian High School was on lockdown for nearly the entire day today after school officials there received a tip that concerned them. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers gets us underway live where the school I hear was given the all clear around 2.40 this afternoon. Is that right? That's right, Doug. It was just a little over an hour ago that parents who had been huddling here in the heat for hours ran across the street to get their kids as the doors to the school opened. Parents and students alike telling us that they were terrified as the hours ticked on and they had no idea if the threat was real. Students tell us they thought it was a drill at first, but after about 20 minutes, they knew something serious was going on. They say they were not allowed to leave the room they were in for the entire time. That's nearly six hours, not even to go. Go to the restroom. At 1240, the district tweeted an update saying that Midlothian police had confirmed that there was no substantiated threat, but that they were going to check every single classroom as a precaution. Students say people started getting agitated, with some calling the district's actions a waste of time. Junior Tommy Nichol says he was able to text his parents. I was telling them that they needed to come pick me up and that I was very scared of my life. And so I just wanted to find out if they're okay and that I could get back to my family. It was surreal. I didn't know. And Midlothian ISD tweeted that they are going to give every student a sack lunch to take with them. They say that the buses are running as usual and that tonight's volleyball and football games will also go on as scheduled. Live in Midlothian, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. Brooke, thank you.